dilute hydrochloric acid into a conical flask, then add two drops of universal indicator to the to the to the acid to prove that it is highly acidic. Next, we use the syringe to add 10 cm cube of dilute sodium hydroxide solution into the flask. And then mix the content. Lastly, we match the color of the solution with the pH value chart. This is the video we recorded during the experiment, which shows the color change. shows that the, when dilute sodium hydroxide solution is added in the beginning, the pH value remains 2. During the ninth drop, the solution suddenly turned purple. And with the last drop, the solution turned green, which has the pH value 7. The solution shows that the acid has been neutralized. I have heard that there were some special guests from Shenzhen who came to visit our science class because of the new learning method. The jigsaw presentation method looks so attractive and novel. Actually, how does it work? The leader presents our findings while the rest go to the other groups to listen to their presentations. After that, we come together and share other groups' findings. At the end, some groups will be invited to present their major observation to the whole class. I see. How do you guys feel about it? This method makes us participate more actively as we explore the whole experiment by ourselves. I think it is effective and useful to our learning. But I think it is quite distracting of the iPad. Some students cannot resist using the other entertaining apps inside the iPad. Even though it is quite distracting, I think it can promote self-learning and can also increase the interest of students to the class with the usage of iPad. Many of them feel excited and engaged. I hope that we can use this method on other subjects too. I have heard that the foreign girls use iPad to have their English lessons. Let's see how they work. Thank, Thank you. you.